In this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I didn't particularly care for when living in Tbilisi over the last year and a half. I will say that the good far outweigh the bad. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out my other video about the 16 things that I loved most about living in Tbilisi. But no country is perfect. And so let's jump right into the things that I did not care for. So number one would be the frequent water and power cuts. Now people talk shit all the time about India and their power cuts, but Georgia was bad. <laughs> unless, unless you lived in an M2. Like, I don't know if the M2 complexes run off of their own grid or what, but we never experienced any water or power cuts Anytime we lived in an M2 complex, as soon as we left the M2s, that's where we noticed the power and water cuts. And they're frequent. I'm talking water cuts would happen, word, Jesus, would <laughs> happen about towards the end when we were leaving. Uh, like, no joke, at least once a week. Now, sometimes they'd give you a heads up, sometimes they wouldn't, sometimes they'd have it cut through the night from like say 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. when, you know, most people aren't using water. Other times, it would be off from 8 a.m. to like 6 a.m. the next day. So make sure that you stock up on the big ass water jugs, put them on either, most people put on their balcony or in their bathrooms. Like when we first moved, I thought it was so weird. Like why are there all these water jugs? And now we know water cuts are frequent and it's super freaking annoying, but you're also living in, this is like a true definition of a second world country. Some things are super advanced on, some things, super behind on. So water cuts are real. They are frequent. Same with power cuts. Uh, power cuts weren't as frequent. They didn't typically last as long as the water cuts, but they did still happen. It was annoying and you either learn to deal with it or you learn very quickly to live in the M2 complexes. <laughs> Another thing I did not like about living in Tbilisi is smoking smoking is a, some places they allow it indoors like in some restaurants you can smoke indoors not all of them but some of them um taxis would very frequently smell like cigarettes um cigarette smoke cigarettes are everywhere and i mean it's kind of this is a culture shock, but you'll see like legit 12, 13 year olds smoking on the sidewalks and stuff, which totally threw me for a loop. But smoking is everywhere and which I don't particularly care for it. So that's definitely something to get used to. Make sure if you're renting, like especially through Airbnb, check at the bottom under the house rules if smoking is allowed or not, because at least for me, that's definitely a deterrent. Third thing I did not like about living in Tbilisi, there's dog shit everywhere on the sidewalk. I mean, if you are not looking down at the sidewalk when you're walking, you're definitely going to step in dog shit every single day. So you kind of learn to just train your eyes downward. <laughs> now I love that they take care of their stray dogs. Stray dogs are everywhere. They're super nice, super friendly. Half of them will like adopt you for a day. Um, but because there's so many stray dogs around, I mean, it's like minefields out there when you're walking on the street. So that <laughs> dog shit is everywhere. <laughs> now, these last two are definitely the more uncomfortable ones to talk about. But I think it's important to get a very real picture of the not so good things about living in Tbilisi. So one of them is there's definitely undertones of racism and some just freaking smack you in the face. So like when you're searching for apartments, legit, there will be some ads that say no Africans, no Indians, no Chinese. Clear as day. There'll also be some people that when you reach out about an apartment, they will straight up ask you, 
what nationality are you? And if you say some one of the countries that they don't like, they will not respond to you. They'll tell you we don't rent to Indians. We don't rent to Chinese. We were interviewing a cleaning lady for our apartment and straight up she said, yeah, you know, I clean for a lot of expats, but I won't clean for Chinese people. And I was straight up like, eh, well, there's the door. You can leave. Like, I just, ah, oh, yeah, that, mm, there's definitely a lot of work to go through for them to go through regarding that type of stuff with being racist. Um, that kind of smacks you in the face a hundred percent and this last one is something that i observed more towards the end of our stay in tbilisi not so much in the beginning uh but basically since july violence towards foreigners has definitely been on the rise so unfortunately i can give you plenty of examples one is um shawnee edwards an australian teacher was hiking Matsmenda and she was murdered in broad daylight. Just a few weeks ago, a British man who was living in Gori got into an argument with some locals at a bar. There's five of them. They beat him to death and threw him in the river, then took his cell phone and pawned it. Um, during Tbilisi Pride, a Polish journalist was stabbed for the sole reason that he had an earring in. Uh, in Batumi in July, a German DJ, I believe, was beat up because of homophobic reasons. Uh, we, our last week in Tbilisi, we went to Dadin, Daydana, Dadina Park, I don't know, skate park. <laughs> um, we had exchanged some words with this group of these three these three local guys who I felt were getting way too close to me. And as we were walking away from them, they pulled a knife on us. So again, this is um, not something we noticed or observed at all in the first year and three months of living in Tbilisi. But unfortunately, it's becoming more and more common these last few months. And I don't know if it's uh, the political climate there, right? There's lots of elections going on. Their third president is currently in jail right now that they're protesting. I don't know if it's an effect of the pandemic. Um, you know, lots of people went through some shitty times and this is how they deal with it. I don't know the reason, but I do know crime and violence against foreigners is on the rise and that's definitely something to to address to be aware of uh again the good far outweigh the bad but i think it's important to know what the bad is and for you to decide what you do and don't want to deal with because i said in the beginning not every country is perfect uh i'm from the u.s and we have violence every freaking day <laughs> so again these are my Five things that I did not care for about living in Tbilisi, but again, still overall, 100%, you should go to Tbilisi, but keep these five items in mind. So as always, like the video, leave me a comment. Uh, what did you not like about Tbilisi? Is there anything that you experienced that maybe I didn't that we should share with other people? Um, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe for more unique travel adventures. Make sure you hit that bell, those notifications, so you're the first to know of any videos I release. And the next one will be right here in three, two, one.